Hello everyone, it's Catherine Jahar and thank you for joining me for the this week's last session on number and place value. Today we're going to be looking at upper key stage two, and that's year five and year six. So let's begin by looking at year five. So in year five, children will need to be able to read, write, compare and order numbers up to one million when recognising the place value of each digit. So including counting forwards and backwards with positive and negative numbers, rounding numbers up to one million to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and 100,000. Children also need to um, further develop their Roman numerals understanding by recognising the um, numbers I, V, X, L, C and D and M and this will help them to read numbers and years. So let's have a look at seven digit numbers in a little bit more detail. So on here I have put the number 2,357,430. Now on there, I've done as I have in every session, um, put the place value headings above the top and broken it down underneath to show the value of each digit. Now children will be able to use this um, information to be able to count in tens from any number up to one million. Okay, so it's showing children that yes, it's a big number, but please don't be afraid of it. It's the same principle as we've always done. We've got the number, the digit and the values. So looking at positive and negative numbers. Now, in the previous session, we explored looking at positive and negative numbers on a number line. Um, but in year five, it's really important that we're now showing children um, interpret how to interpret negative numbers in real world contexts. Now, the big thing um, that we'll be looking at is looking at temperature. So um, looking at negative numbers on a thermometer. So that's where we discussed about having them on a um vertical number line wow that's really important and it's also looking at money so real life context in terms of spending money that you don't have children may also be able to use their positive and negative number understanding to work out problems in to do with sea level lifts and quizzes and games so it's really just applying their learning um uh, into uh, real life contexts and being able to solve real life context problems so we're further rounding um, to 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000 and 100,000, but the principle still applies. If you are rounding up or rounding down, so for example, to the nearest 1,000, you look at the number that's, or the digit, sorry, that's in the place for your thousands column, look at the digit to the right, do we round that up or do we round it down? The same rules apply and it's really important that when we're teaching this to children and supporting children in this, that we explain that it's just the same, it's just moved up a place value or two. Okay, so the same rules, the same principles still apply. So you can see that each year we're just building on and making these digits and these numbers a little bit bigger. So looking at Roman numerals. So in year five, children be expected to work out Roman numerals in terms of years. Now this is obviously a lot bigger than the numbers that we were working on in year four, but the same three rules still apply. So again, there's a maximum of three of the same symbol can be used consecutively. If a symbol is written after a larger or equal symbol, it's added. If a symbol is written before a larger or equal symbol, it is subtracted. Okay, so if we remember those three key rules, we can work out Roman numerals years, all the way up to 2029, so I've put on there, future-proofing this. Okay, so don't be afraid to write these rules down, have them to hand, get the children to write them down as well, and it might just take a little bit longer to work out the years, but obviously it's a bigger number. Okay, but those same three rules are key. So having a look at year six now. Now in year six, children will be able to read, write, compare, order and round numbers up to 10 million. Okay, and begin to learn about algebra, ratio, n proportion. Okay, now I've put a little note at the bottom that there will be separate training sessions on algebra and ratio and proportion. Okay, so let's have a look at um, a couple of examples within in here. So looking at eight digit numbers, so this is taking children all the way up to the tens millions. Okay, so again, we've got the number 62,357,413 on here. As I've done previously, I've put the place value headings above and worked out the values underneath. 
Okay, so it's just to show again the same rules, follow the logical order. Okay, even if it's a big number, it doesn't matter, the same system still applies. This time we're going to be looking at number lines to add and subtract negative numbers. So in year four, we were exploring um, positive and negative. In year five, we'll be applying them to real world contexts. And in year six, we're going to be adding and subtracting them. Okay, and it's really important that we use a number line to support this because it can be a little bit abstract. So it's good to have something that children can make jottings on. So on here, the rules are that when adding positive numbers, you count to the right. And when subtracting positive numbers, you count to the left. Okay, and that's when we're using the number line. So on here, I have put a couple of questions on there for us. So the first question is minus four plus five. So it's five more than minus four. Now to work this out, you would find a minus four on the number line. And if we look back at the rule, we've said as it is adding, so we count to the right. Okay, so we find minus four on the number line and we count five to the right. And that will take us to one. So we can see that minus four plus five equals one. Now the question underneath is minus four subtract five. Now that might look a little bit tricky at first, but the same rule applies. We find minus four on the number line and because we're subtracting, we count to the left. So we count left five and that takes us to minus nine. So five less than minus four is minus nine. Using a number line, it makes it really clear to the children um, how simple it is to be adding positive and negative numbers. Okay, so don't be afraid to get the number lines out, get the children to draw them, use pre-prepared ones, whatever you feel you need to, um, but the same rules apply as if you're doing positive or negative numbers. So thank you very much. This has been a particularly short session today because like I said, um, we will be doing separate sessions on algebra and ratio and proportion. So if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, please, as usual, um, send me an email. Don't forget to um, complete the form as we do every week. And this makes sure I can keep track of who is completing the training sessions um, and it shows that I can, I know how, um, we can make improvements in the future. So thank you very much. Um, don't forget to join us again next week. If the three short sessions has worked better for you, we will continue to do this. Or if you prefer the one longer session at the beginning of the week, we can do that as well. So like I said, please let me know and I look forward to seeing you in the sessions next week. Bye.